Welcome back to my channel. This is Tammy with Lacey BTV. Thank you for joining me. So today I have some sort of nail review, uh, lightweight, low-key, it's really just a nail try-on. And I owe it all to Instagram. <laughs> they have been spamming me with at Vanity Table, something like that. I'll show you the Instagram name. They've been spamming me with these ads of very simple, easy to put on, semi-cured gel nails. And these are the nails that I ended up purchasing so we could give them a try. I really was hoping that it's going to work great for my toes because I usually get acrylic on my nails, you know, pre-COVID, and I get gel toes. So I'm hoping this will be the new end-all be-all for me. And I'll continue to do my press-ons for my fingers, and yeah, it'll be great. So today, just as a trial, I'm going to put on one of the nail versions. I'm going to save the pedicure version for another day. Definitely look forward to that, and of course, an update of how long these nails last. I thought it was really cool that the nails did include alcohol pads. And it looks like they gave me one packet per set of nails that I purchased. So that's really convenient. Also, the gel lamp that's needed to cure the semi-cure gel nails, uh, it's usually, I think it was about $18. However, there was a code and a deal, so they you were able to add it to your cart for free, which is awesome. The cord, the power source, doesn't seem very long. I may end up purchasing an alternate cord so that I have more leeway but it wasn't an extreme inconvenience or anything as you can see the gel lamp is very compact in size which is perfect for travel if you needed to on the go nails and it's uh, no bigger than my hand and folds up so that was really great uh, very lightweight I'm really excited about that so I did insert the power source to start it was actually a really tight fit which was strange I didn't want to break it in any way and looking at the manual, it looks like it has maybe a one month warranty. That was pretty interesting. And so we're going to go ahead and get started here. We just need to decide what is the best option to start with. What do you think? What color? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, these. These are actually my least favorite out of all the ones I got. I really just want to do white toes and white hands but i think the white toes were sold out at the time which is why i didn't get them the case here is um, recommended to be reused for you to store your nails when you're not using them and here's the pretty color i just love the accent nails they're so pretty and a lot of the nails on the site are somewhat see-through which is really exciting to me that's something i really like see-through or solid and they encourage you to mix and match so I'm showing you the solids. I believe there were about 30 nails per pack, if I'm not mistaken, you know, with the different sizes. Sorry, it's still 4th of July. <laughs> and so the extra tools you need are included. We're going to pack everything up and we're going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm going to refer to the instructions. I felt like even though I wasn't going to give this a complete try, I should still try to glance at the instructions to do it as close to how it should be done as possible. It's great here that they gave you one pad per nail per pack. Oh, I said that wrong. One pad per hand per pack. So um, that's one thing I do press on nails. I notice you do get those pads but there's only one and it doesn't seem like there is maybe enough to cover your whole hand this you there's no way you can't get all 10 of your nails when you have two pads and you definitely want to get in the grooves um, underneath your nails just get all the oils out that's going to help with the application uh, making sure that it does stay for a long period of time so I'm fast forwarding through this but obviously I did all 10 fingers as thoroughly as possible and once they're all done, we will check for step number two. <laughs> step two is really just to be sure about the sizing. This is where I need to practice. Um, here, I did really well. I feel like the pinkies on both my right and my left hand are pretty flush. Um, the size pretty much fit me perfectly without any um, alterations. So 
once you get it on you just need to press it in place make sure that it is flush to your nail i think they called it zero i don't know zero contact something like that they just want it to be flush to the nail when i pulled the plastic off is when i first realized that this is not a gloss color but a matte <laughs> that wasn't my intention at all matte is cool but it wasn't what i was expecting so again i'm glad i chose this set first because it's again definitely my least favorite out of all the ones i purchased the accent nail like i said is beautiful but this is when i first realized that i do not understand the sizing and i also don't recommend taking the top plastic portion off first it doesn't really help with things it makes you touch the sticky underbelly of the nail when you don't want to you want to just make sure that you only stick that part onto your nail so with the ring finger yeah the size is not great i know you probably can't see too well but it's not flush um but i just decided to go with it and didn't really feel like going back to correct it and moving on to my middle finger getting the sizing right here again not good but it's recommended that we stretch the semi cured gel it's pliable so you can stretch it you can fit the smaller nail sizes to your actual nail size so it ends up being a one size fits all and even for the larger sizes you can just cut the excess and again fit it one size fits all so really cool and i will do that next time <laughs> then with this um particular set i found that it was easier to use nail clippers to trim the excess gel which i've demonstrated a few times which you'll see me do it again um, the instructions recommend just using the nail file and different ways of getting the gel off but i saw on the vanity table web uh, instagram that just using the nail clippers is much easier and much more precise just as long as you're mindful of your natural nail length okay so you can you size this once you've found the right size peel stick press firmly smoothing out any air pockets or wrinkles all the way to the edges Peel the top plastic portion, cut the excess, and then file. Oh, be very careful with the file. This may not happen with the gel colors, but with the matte, I nicked it very, I nicked it a few times with the file, and it looks, when you look close, you can see the imperfections. So that's all done before the cure. With the curing, you just turn it on, it's automatically timed, and it's recommended to cure one to three times. I did three, and again, I just speed through this. So I could only really fit the four fingers for the first three cures, and then I went back and I did three cures for the thumb. <laughs> so we're all done. I really really like them so stay tuned we'll be doing my toes soon and I'll give you an update on how long these nails last and if I experience any issues oh and we'll do a removal what do you guys think let me know down below like comment and subscribe <laughs>